Hi everyone, it's Practical Mommy from MyMommyManual.com and tonight I am visiting with Nicole Bullrad who is one of the partners at Parentville and she is also the mom of a former preemie who is now two years old, right? That's so, correct. Uh, we have talked before and what we want to share tonight is is what are the ways that you can be involved in the care of your preemie while they're in the NICU? Because this is mm -hmm. all going to be very surprising and new for parents. Obviously, this isn't something that you're expecting and planning for. So what are, what are some of the tips that you can share with, with other parents in this situation? <clears throat> well, one of the tips that I would share is to be aware of everything that's happening and continuously ask questions. Mm -hmm. about what the doctors and nurses are doing. Uh, what are the wires attached to your baby and what are the monitors telling you, telling you about your baby? For example, the heart rate and the blood oxygen saturation, all of these types of things that help to show how your baby's uh, organs are functioning and um, whether your baby needs assistance with particular apparatus um, or oxygen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so to, to continuously ask those questions, even if they sound stupid, because you'll always get an answer that makes you feel better about mm -hmm. the situation. Mm -hmm. Now, how, when your, your, your baby is in the NICU, how much physical contact do you, can you have with him or her? It depends. Uh, based on how well your baby's doing, and that would likely depend on when your baby was born. In other words, babies that are girls are likely to do better than babies born early who are boys. Babies that are born after 28 weeks are likely to do better um, sooner. So if your baby, for example, was born at 28 weeks, it might be two weeks that your baby will be able to be taken out of the incubator and you'll be able to hold your baby close to your body, which is uh, or maybe even in a blanket at first and then close to your body, which is called kangaroo care, which is getting the baby to, to be used to your warmth, your heartbeat, your scent, just like a normal birth it would just happen later. Mm -hmm. um, it's likely that if your baby was intubated, um, which means that a tube is put in her trachea so that the baby can have assistance with oxygen into her lungs, that that will have to be removed and and she'll have to go past that stage in order for the baby to be able to come out of the in, the incubator, as well as the temperature is another key factor. Um, the temperature is 98.6 degrees in the incubator because babies that small cannot regulate their own body temperature. So once the nurses feel it's okay for the baby to come out and be exposed to room air temperature, then you'll be able to hold your baby. So how, how old was your baby uh, well, how many weeks were you and she had? She was 28 weeks. Okay. So what, what is the one tip, if you had to share one thing about that period of time, which was undoubtedly very stressful for you, mm -hmm. uh, with other moms, what, what would you share with them? What advice uh, would be helpful and would help them through that period? Um, I would, one, speak with other moms in the hospital who have had the situation either during that same time or a few weeks ahead of you. In other words, maybe they had their 28-week baby three weeks ahead of you. Or another mom through a family member or friend, it often happens that they tell you, oh, somebody has had this situation happen to them, definitely talk to them. Because if you talk to somebody like I'm trying to do for as many people who can watch this video mm -hmm. to assure them that if you have the knowledge of what's going on and you have the knowledge to constantly um, check and double check on things that should uh, you should be cautious about with your baby um, and ask questions and you will be comforted by knowing that you have all the information you can possibly have at that time. Emotional information as far as what to expect as well as medical information based on what you've received and the questions that you've asked. 